Well, you guys, I hate to report this, but the Senna is actually driving me batshit crazy. And I'll tell you why. Ever since I got the exhaust installed, I've actually had a bunch of hiccups with this car. And I haven't really reported on it, to be honest. It just kind of bummed me out. And I was kind of avoiding it because I wasn't, you know, it's not, it's not really anybody's fault. You know, I changed the exhaust. I did a catless um, uh, exhaust system. And I also did these billet turbo inlets. And now what I've learned is the issue with doing the billet turbo inlets on some of these cars is the larger diameter that the billet turbo inlets are. And it changes the volume of air that's passing across the mass airflow sensor which then trips the car out. And you would think, well, Damon, you just get that tuned out. I had Alex try to tune this car. I've also had Nick try to tune this car and it was still throwing a check engine light, which is just a headache because it was putting the actual car into limp mode. So long story short, I had Senna, um, <coughs> I had Senna, I didn't have, the, I had the Senna racked up at the HQ. And what we did was we had Alex and Carlos come down all the way from LA and spend some time on this car because I really wanted to drive this car and I really wanted it to be okay with, um, you know, just a base type tune. I don't want to mess with this car too much. I have a little bit of PTSD after obviously having my 720 GTR engine blow up on me and that car was tuned. So basically I'm trying to like preserve this car, not screw with it too much. I want it to be reliable. Long story short, we're going to take this car right now over to Yoast and, um, we're gonna also have a rattle that's been driving me crazy because ever since we installed this exhaust system, which requires them to take all this glass and everything off, there's a lot of bolts, there's a lot of clips and stuff with this car. And while well, we were having a rattle, and now I had a little washer fall out right back here. I'll show you, I'm gonna jump in, warm this thing up. Right back here over my head, I had a washer and I think maybe a nut fall out from up top here where they have to screw in and unscrew um the engine cover glass so yeah this car has been what i like to call a mccarran not a mclaren at the moment currently it's being a mccarran and i finally did by the way shout out to alex he tuned it to a point where at least the engine light's not coming on and it's not going into limp mode however it's not really running right to be honest it's running a little weird in the sense of um it's hard to explain when i downshift or I let I decel on the throttle coming to like, let's say a light or a stop sign. The car has this little bit of like a roo, like a roo, roo, roo. Like it's almost like cutting in and out on the engine somehow in a way that it's like making the car jerky. Um, so that's not good. And it does have, if I floor, if I turn everything off and I like full throttle it and I bang through the gears in, I notice in fourth somewhere at the top of the RPM range, it seems to like lose a little bit of power and kind of like dive down a little bit. Now, I don't, I'm sure that's not a good thing either. So I do want to preserve this, which is why I also went and got 100 octane race fuel because that is better to prevent detonation and everything. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff going on with the Senna. Now, it's not really surprising. I mean, these cars already from the factory have their quirks and issues. And the second you start modifying them, you just have to be prepared that you might be in for a bit of a long haul to get things dialed in. So currently, it's not getting any engine lights, like I said, it's not getting any going into limp mode or anything, but it's not running the way it ran with the factory exhaust system, with the factory tune and all that sort of stuff. So it's gonna need a little more work. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, I mean, there's lots of stuff that organically in this car is gonna rattle a little bit because the whole freaking car is made of carbon fiber. But I have, I don't know if you can hear that. I do have a, a rattle, uh, what is super annoying just over the right side of my head. So let's head over to Yoast to see John and let's have a quick look and see if maybe there's something loose up here uh, or maybe there's a, a not no washer that's vibrated off or whatever just part of the game this is like solid uh engine mounts in this car so everything vibrates things can't come loose especially once you've loosened them after the factories have done it all up uh and then you know you put things back and maybe just something wasn't 100 percent tight and it backs off after you're driving this 
you know thing down the road and it's like vibrating everything loose so again no one's fault just uh, actually my own fault for wanting to modify a set <laughs> here now listen now you can hear all the rocks okay quick drive over to Yoast and let's see if we can't solve problem number one I am also sick and tired of all the rain Gosh, look at this. And now my car is beeping at me with a TPMS fault. What the heck is going on with this car? Look at it, it's flashing. Monitoring fault. I can't win, man. I got a McCarran. I got a McCarran Senna. Well, I'll have a look at that too, I guess. Why is it raining here? Stop raining, California. I come here for the sun. Well, this is cool. Check this out. So you, here's the hey, four, roof scoop delete. Here's the four. Here's the four studs here. Yeah. And they go through this hole. That's and then cool. You have a connector that side on that side. That's neat. And then up and forward. Damn. Well, that's cool. That's wild that that whole so that whole thing is being held in by four bolts. Yeah. And then these little tabs. Little tabs that go into those rubber grommets, right? <laughs> it's funny that those are threaded too, and there's nothing that goes on the end of them. They just go into the grommets. Ah, uh, for grip for grip? Yes. <laughs> for grip. <laughs> so last time when we pulled this out, yeah. we were tapping on it, yeah. you could hear it. Bzz, bzz, bzz. On that side. Yeah. So let's see if it's still dark. It's always fun, hey? You take a car apart and then you end up chasing a rattle. Yes. <laughs> like, especially when you're doing exhaust systems, because guys, when you do an exhaust system, there's always heat shielding, tons of heat shielding. So what happens is you always have to be prepared. And if you're gonna do these types of mods to your cars, you have to have some patience to be able to go and find sometimes a rattle from like a bolt or something shifted, especially when like the parts you're putting in are completely different than the OEM parts. So I'm almost positive though that the noise I was hearing is from one of these screws or something. Cause it, it, dude, it sounded like it was right here behind my head, like right behind the passenger side head, headrest. And you could hear it like in, in this in this box area. It didn't sound like it was coming from like a muffled section between the glass okay. in the engine bay. That I'll save for the drive. That okay. that's the weird. <laughs> all right, all right. You wait till you hear that. You're gonna be like, what is that? <laughs> the mysteries continue. <laughs> And so I mean, the, have you seen this thing at idle? Like even these, the oh, movement, dude, they, they, the, it all vibrates because <laughs> it's it's um solid mounted engine mounts, right? Yeah. So the whole freaking car rattles, yeah. and it's all carbon fiber. But this thing, this wasn't the typical like you know vibration you can hear through the car, the carbon. This was definitely like uh, like something is loose, and it's just probably just one of these bolts or something. Because I they were all. They were all in. They were all in there. Yeah. But you only have three. Three washers. We were missing a washer, but the nut was there that holds it down because I loosened it. So how? How? That's the weird thing. It's like, well, how could the nut be there I, but no washer? I, I'm like, I'm so curious. <laughs> I always put the wash. You. I always put the washer in first before the nut. What's What's this? That's supposed to be your tool bag. Oh really? Where was this? But it doesn't have anything in it, does it? No, it's you will. I'm missing. Usually, that's where the wheel lock tool is supposed to go. Nothing in there. Yeah, this is what this you... this is what I was missing. Right. So the bag is here. The bag thought, is there. I thought oh, I. So you didn't know. I didn't even know I had the bag. I thought I didn't even have the bag. Because it straps on right down here. Gotcha. Cool. So, good. Good to know. Like as much as you've seen, like these, and these are pretty solid. Move. Yeah. Like, look, listen to this. Yeah. And these pipes are much larger than the factory pipes. I mean, it could just be at the right resonance that it's vibrating. Well, I'll wait till you hear it. Okay. You're gonna well, be do you, like. I mean, does, do you think that that could be it or no? No. Okay. 
It's so bizarre. Yeah. Like, well, I want I can't wait to see your face when you hear it because <laughs> Alex and I were like, he, like, he was literally like, what the f is that? I was like, I don't know, bro. My McCarran's being a McCarran. <laughs> So, what do you think? You downshift and hit the throttle. And... Does that sound like air? It sounds like air. Yeah, but it's only coming from one side. Yeah. It's not coming from both sides. It's like coming from the passenger side for sure. I'm blind, but I have really good ears. <laughs> and the the rattle's gone since you took the glass off. Okay. The rattle's gone. So, something up here was probably loose. And then it was one of these bolts, I think, was loose and it was probably just vibrating on the inside. Okay. So that, that's an easy fix. But this thing is weird. Hmm. The ch 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 chugging. It's weird. And how we figured it out happens between four and 5,000 RPM coming D cell. Okay. So coming down. Jason, it's not like turbo surge or anything, is it? No. I wish it was turbo surge. That'd be cool. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Roof scoop back on. I'm shocked that that literally only sits on there with a couple of bolts. Four bolts. Should we wrap the connector or should we just put a piece? These things are well, the struggle's real. I'm in the Senna. I got my coffee finally. Had a little uh, snack here at Starbucks. Now I gotta head to the HQ. I don't have a cup holder, but the good news is all these cars with the DCT transmissions have amazing, amazing automatic mode. So I'm gonna drive this thing in auto, head to the HQ. And all I want it to do right now is I just really, really want it to stop raining. I don't understand why it is so wet in Southern California right now. And somehow on my trips, I hit these wet patches and it sucks. Cheers to you guys. Hope you're having an amazing day. Let's go see what the boys are. Oh, the guys are here to paint. Painting all the K-rails. Looks like they're getting ready. Prepping it all. These are gonna look so good when they're all uniform. This is also the first time I've been here uh, with the new patchwork done. So we had all these patches done on the block so we don't destroy rims and tires. Let's say hi to the crew. This is true behind the scenes right here. Got cameras on cameras. Look at everybody really quickly pretending like they're doing something. Like the F12s up in the air, everything's in the air. We got we got a row of freaking Ferrari V12 cars. How badass is that? <laughs> How cool is that, hey? Three V12 Ferraris in a row. Exactly. Yes. That's actually the coolest. They're all not running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry I mean, to be the downer. <laughs> that's not the downer. I mean, to be honest, I kind of knew that. Yeah. But it's cool. Yeah. Like, that's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in an actual DD headquarters garage. Like, dude, this is crazy. It is. It looks like a, it looks like a dealership. It's, it's actually, it looks... A little better than a dealership because all these cars are going to be modified and then we're going to rip them. <laughs> how are you guys doing? Good. How you doing? Good. I. Uh, You're back. I have some unfortunate news about the SVJ. Uh oh. Needs a gearbox. Mm. That sounds expensive. Forty-one grand. Oh, oh shit! Woo! That's a second time Excuse me. That's <laughs> Don't lower the price, buddy. That's so. <laughs> so yeah. Thing, well, yeah, <laughs> got that. Yep, oh, just it's just like everything, like the getting, like that. By the way, 
That's as far. That's back, all it goes. That's as far back as the seat goes, and I like to drive with the steering wheel like closer to me out. Yeah. So yeah, this gap right here is the gap you gotta like get. You gotta get the elbow on here, yeah. and you gotta do the old. Right now, this is cutting in. The center seat oh, yes. is currently cutting in to my hands. Yeah. And you just gotta like roll out of roll it. Roll out. There you go. Like make it look, make it make it look cool. Does that how you make it look cool? <laughs> Dude, I was just watching the the drive to survive. The new season came out. Oh, it just came out just Wednesday. Came out. Uh, actually, on Friday, I think. So I watched a couple episodes over the weekend. But there was a point where uh, Zach Brown was getting out of McLaren. Is Zach Brown was getting out of a... Yeah. What McLaren? I don't know what it is because I don't know McLaren's that well, but it's a center, It's a newer center seat one. Oh, center seat tail. Seat tail. That's crazy. Yeah. So he was rolling out of that thing. <laughs> the most ungraceful look you could ever see is oh, Zach Brown rolling oh, out oh. of a center seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because like... You've got to think about how far you have to get from the center of the car past the other seat, past, which yeah. is awkward. Yeah. Then staggered. the then the same size door sill. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. to see you guys. Thank you. I gave you a uh, fist bump. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Sean back. What up? What up? How's flight school? It's good. I've been watching your uh, Instagram posts. They're pretty cool. Yeah. So far, so good. You haven't crashed. Yeah. Luckily, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> if, you, if you follow my buddy uh, Steve. He's a pilot. Lambro. Uh, he has Lambro, Lambro Steve. Steve. Yeah, Lambro. He posts the funniest flight stuff, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, he'll straight up, if you're in his um, vicinity, like if you're in with the radio, with the yeah. tower that he's around, he records everything. So he'll straight up rat you out. He has like so many clips of the of the tower, like giving people shit. Oh, yeah. And like, I guess like last week at his airport, uh, a plane crashed. Wow. Yeah, I, so, saw, like, I saw that post. Yeah, yeah, the plane crashed and like, you know, every all the security measures come out, but yeah, pretty crazy. He's always got funny, funny stuff going on. Um, good to be back. Why is it still raining? Yep. Right. It's like Another. what the actual f? Yeah. Bro, I'm so done with the rain. Yeah. Why are you laughing? Tim, like, Tim. It was sunny for like Tim a whole week. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you were gone. I was gone. It was nice. I came back, and the rain came with me. Yeah. You're just bringing it from Canada. Uh, how was the visit with Sam? I regretfully oh, missed Sam's school. He's, yeah. he's such a good guy. It's yeah. fun having him here. Yeah. I saw I saw you with your piece of shit title on thumbnail clickbaiting everybody about how he was confronting uh, yeah, that Mike. Was, that was <laughs> oh, we got some new noises. Is it? It happens to be actually lunchtime it's too. The lunch bell. It's the lunch yeah. bell. That's crazy. Nice. Has that been going on a lot? Uh, just today. So just, far. just when you came just back. Just Monday, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> they they wow. were waiting for us to come and film some videos in order to, to get started. Um, they yeah, they're doing a lot of huge work over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, th I think this is part of what's going on with the whole sewage thing. Yeah. It's like that yard and then our yard. And then how, uh, how it went well with the paving? Like this, I haven't looked at it yet. Is it yeah, you want to take a hell, look like? hell of a lot better or what? Oh, yeah. I already I, tested I'd hope, it out a bit. I'd hope so for the money. Yes. That wasn't cheap. No. And, you would uh, think for what we paid, we we're going to have the whole the whole lot repaved, but it was just these patches. Hey. Yeah, the guy that did the paving, he said he's going to come back and do a test section because there's a they can do like a top coat. And he said if he does a top coat, he might be able to put it onto the concrete as well. Oh, really? And then it's all going to be black then, so it'll all look more even. And then the, the basically driving surface will feel more consistent oh, as bro. well. So yeah. He's going to do a test and see if it sticks Sweet. to the concrete. But. And these guys are... They're doing the primer for all of the K-Rail. So they're primering? Yeah. So tomorrow they're going to come and put the final coat of paint down. Cool. So this is just, pri this is just primer. Yep. That's really annoying, that noise. Yep. Oh, that's interesting. Well, things are moving along. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot better. Yeah. I remember like, I remember this was, this was the death zone right here. That's, uh, that's what we have to look forward to when they come over to our lot to do the sewer stuff. Holy crap. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, you can actually drive over this now. Yeah. All right, I'm going to end this here until this fucking dinging stops. How's it going under there, boys? Uh, it's going good. Uh, I found out. You found out something about a Ferrari? Well, we, I found out. Oh, we, I hit my head. Dude, sorry, it's at my working height. Yeah, it <laughs> is. Holy. <laughs> I'm like ducking. Yeah, got good. the knees bent. It's a little down. Even Mike. You know you know it's low when Mike's bending his knees. <laughs> yeah, you're not even getting it. <laughs> Just go ahead and remove your head, exactly. and then you'll fit under here. Yeah. So? I'm comfortable, though, you know. 
What'd you, what'd you figure out? Sean's oh, flicking that's, some that's, light around. That's a normal look, cat. Yeah. What's it supposed to look like? That, which one's normal? Those two. See how you can see the packing in there? Yeah, a little honeycomb action. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let there me have go. a look at the packing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, looks good, right? Good. Right. Sure. And then so we we'll move go to over the to side, this side. You know? Okay. Where is it? <laughs> Where's the packing? Yeah, where is the packing? I, I don't know. What, <laughs> what, it's melted. What's, about that, what's up with that pipe? That pipe looks weird too. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, melted. Where, where's the packing? So, so what does that mean? Got she got hot. A little hot. <laughs> we'll have so to look uh, and see because uh, this thing might need a good tune-up. We need to do spark plugs. We need to eject the fuel injectors because if it did that on funny. half on half the bank. Yeah. Ooh. But also, they run. This thing still runs two ECUs, right? I got to talk to Alex, yeah. but I think oh, it's yeah, still it a double the, ECU car. So for each bank. Yeah. Yes. Split down the middle. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. It's two six cylinders. Yeah, it's two Jay Z's. That's <laughs> no shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what yeah, are you yeah. saying? You're saying that this thing We'll we'll have to check it out because if it melted the cats on one side and not the other, then something is definitely going on on that side of the engine. Oh, Either. this was the side also that was on fire. Yeah, this yeah. was the side that was So on that fire. side oh, was on shit. fire and this side wasn't. Yep. Yeah. Well this that side, the, the timing is super retarded. EGT is just going crazy. So is, so is the driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the EGTs and the driver both going crazy. Right? Which one? Oh! oh. Look at this. Which one? What's up? How are you? How are you? Don't hug me. <laughs> Why are we not hugging? We're doing the hug. No, we're not. So weird. So weird. <laughs> so weird. Oh my God, Ryan. What's up? How, How are, you, are you, bro? Dude. I'm so glad you're here. Let's talk about those Facebook numbers this month, all right? Laugh at this good. Killed it last month. Thanks. Who'd you piss off this month? Zuck? Don't know. Yeah, don't want hey? to talk about that. Are you also on there? You're in the comments section, j j uh, making jokes about how Zuck missed his uh, his handshake on UFC on the weekend. I didn't see that. You didn't see that? No. Dude, that's viral. It's all over the internet. You see that? Where, where Zuck went to like get in there with the team and give the little handshake to the uh, fighter before he got in the octagon. No. He basically gave everybody a, a handshake except avoided Mark Zuckerberg on the team. Okay, we're gonna Google that, I'll show you this. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You excited? Yeah. How long are you here for? How long is he here for? A week. Oh boy. For seven days. Hell yeah, flew, let's go. We flew row 37 for the experience. Yeah. <laughs> Did you too? Mm -hmm. Perfect. You should stay there. Oh, we're all in or no way. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? I'm in the front. Hey, Ryan, how's it back there? Ryan, how is it? How's the peanuts, Ryan? <laughs> yeah. Wait, so you row, you flew in row 37? Mm-hmm. Not that bad? Was it row 37? Yeah. Not that bad? I mean, I got a fist You know to be careful with what you say to me. I'll let you fly your car. Cool. Let's save, let's, let's save the company a thousand bucks every time we go. I'm staying in business class, man. I've flown in the back of planes my entire life. I was one of my bucket list things was like, I want to make enough money to always fly business. Yeah. And you know what? It's actually not that expensive. The truth is, is that it was sold out when I bought tickets. I know. Our tickets actually were expensive. Bus. Our tickets were expensive. Well, if you do it last minute. No, I, so originally I booked our flight. I booked our flights like two weeks ago. What, what did I book? Business. But what, what route did I book? Oh, oh Nanaimo to Cologne. <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> Oh, no, hey, I'm going to work. It's a good deal. Yeah, I'm going Ryan's to, like, I think you got the wrong one. Yeah. I was on a conference call and doing two things at once. It didn't work. But anyways, we're here. It was cool. Welcome back. Ryan has never been to the new HQ. Ryan's last time here was when we did that track uh, runway Remember shit that? like a year and a half ago. Ryan also had so uh, like monotone colors. Now he's two-tone. Mm -hmm. Ryan's got more confidence. I guess notice that right away. Talks a bit louder now. Yeah. Ryan looks right. like he came straight out of the bush. Ryan has an awesome shoes on too. <laughs> like Ryan's casual. Yeah, your wardrobe, you stepped it up. I'm, you went from like, is, uh, not yeah. caring to like really not giving a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna get you some DD merch while you're here. Yeah, not yeah. wearing any of this Harley bullshit. Okay, boys, we're going for lunch. You wanna come? Good. We're going, there's no food in the back of the plane. We're going, no the the plane. That's a good joke. Like That's actually true. Oh yeah, this is Ryan. You'll respect him like a peer. He's been with us since the 2020. Of all people here, he's the most senior. It's actually true. I think you guys came on like a month after. I no, Ryan. You not even, not even close. I was here last. Ryan, don't argue the more. I was here last. Ryan. 
The borders were closed, Ryan. The borders were closed. <laughs> Ryan, don't trust his almanac. Ryan, Everybody's we're going home. in uh, the most prestigious and most respected vehicle DD has. Also, a car we own outright. I hate to say it, but this is not a lease. And by the way, we take Am good care. We take good care of this vehicle. If you haven't noticed, right here, just gotta get that back in. So, yeah. Thanks. Have you seen the back door? Uh, no. Yeah, we ran. We've rammed a few things into the <laughs> oh, back door. Why am I filming Tim's butt while saying back door? Oh, don't look at me. We rammed don't a few things into the back door. Not Tim's back door, to be clear. That would be weird. So the painters went home. Yeah, it's heard rain. Oh yeah, a lot of rain here. That's awful. Let's let's stop working because there's a little perfect. rain. Well, they didn't want to have to come and do it again, I guess. Yeah. So they were like, well, the flat rate. That's why I, I negotiated a flat rate price. Nah. He's just gonna do it again. He's just By the way, that's that's what you get to listen to all the time now. Bing, 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 bing. All right, guys, everybody buckled up. You ready? Team lunch. Well, we'll do a little morale boosting too. You guys are really fired up. <laughs> All right, we got the what's champ this, what's driving. This guy doing here right now? Okay. So updates about that about that budget we're trying to follow. SVJ needs a new transmission. Call it out. Yes. Okay. Um, good news about that though is Michael Asa. What's the good news about? Taking well, the, that transmission out the regardless. Saving, the saving grace there on that $40,000 purchase is that we get that other transmission to use for the event or the big event or for the project. race car. Can the race you get car. a transmission for us? Like, yeah, the, the, the factory sells them. So uh, I'm getting a price on that and availability. Then we can take the broken transmission from the current SVJ. Right. And then we can rebuild it with the billet gear sets That's and crazy, all that yeah. stuff and make it so that it can withstand like the bazillion horsepower all-wheel drive it's going to be taking the abuse that car has been an absolute workhorse to have a major repair for us is rare so it's like not the end of the world like of all the things that could go wrong in that car it's done two gumballs it's done a lot of donuts right like okay so you want to play a game okay how many Ooh, how many? oh how many launches oh, so here so here I, i'm not gonna say because i remember you told me and i know about so i'm not roughly gonna say. well you can still guess well I'll let because i was even off when we looked were so you, were I, you over I, or under on your guess? I was under. So oh, really? I Mark. talked to the boys and I said, how many launches have you ever seen on an Aventador or any type like the V12s? And he said, the most, we, the one uh, tech said, the most that I'd seen in my 10 years of working at Lamborghini was 10, wow. right? How, how many do you think I had? 500. <laughs> wow. My yeah. guess is you, 28. Your guess is 28? That's my guess. All right. Well, I remember you told me it was like, it was somewhere in the high 40s or mid 50s. It was somewhere in that range. Yeah, the one time I checked it. Yeah. So yeah. what would your guess be? Now? I don't know. 70? 66. 133. <laughs> 69. Oh! I've actually, uh, no pun intended, blown past that number. <laughs> what, what, what's your number? 84. Jeez. 84. So eight times as much as he's ever seen. Oh, yeah. Am I getting on the freeway, Mark, or am no, I going straight? Right. Street. All right. Yeah. That's crazy. No, they were like, they were like, that is absolutely insane. And he said the fact that your gearbox lasted that whole time and it's only just now done the internal leaking thing, he was like, it's actually pretty good. I, the, you he know, said, legitimately, I think you got your money's worth. Really? What's, what's like, the other point inside that transmission that caused internal leaking? It's, it's actually these, um, uh, What's it called? It's the seals. Yeah. And the seals are made out of... Uh, Is it like a Teflon kind of Teflon. Material? Teflon. Yeah. So they're Teflon seals. Left. So it's, it's a... There's a word for that. Plan failure point. It can, it can be rebuilt. It just requires very specific uh, tooling that allegedly the boys were saying Lamborghini never gave anybody. Yeah. And they held a class where they taught people how to allegedly rebuild these things. And when the guys went to the class, when they were going through it, they were like, this is a joke because they didn't have the proper tooling to give out to anybody at that time. He said, he's not sure if, if they have that tooling now, but he said the ironic part is in the class, even the guy who was the teacher couldn't get some of the things to line up properly. So he's like using hammers and he's like, look, if the, if you get these Teflon seals in even slightly wrong, it'll just fail all over again. Yeah. And you tear the whole thing apart. He's like, 
you're better off to buy it all together where it was specifically put together in a manufacturing plant that was yeah. made for doing that. Yeah. And yeah, just we can rebuild it ourselves for our stuff later, but yeah. Yeah, so I those mean, shifting forks things we bought. What's that? That was a waste. Those sh the the um the e gear valves. Yeah. Oh yeah, the twenty something grand we spent was all just no. There was no reason Not for it. By the uh, by the way, the other part of this story that's kind of funny actually is um, the SVJ's clutch. That's what I was getting at. I almost lost my train of thought. Thought I'd do that. What do you think my clutch is at for wear? 84 launches, right? 84 launches. Life remaining. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. Uh, you no, know, how much do you think it's been worn down? Because that's how they measure it. How much has been worn? I would that's say 80, 25% worn. Yeah. So there's still 80% left. Yeah, there's 80% of my clutch that's left. Well, that was a good that was a good guess. Yeah. But you know, with those new cars where everything is controlled by the computer. The computer doesn't allow it to slip a lot like a person driving, right? Correct. So it's all computer controlled. Obviously, they have it really dialed in. They do. Yeah. He said, though, like, the fact that you've launched it to this thing, like, 84 times. And you, you haven't broken anything, axles, like, anything else in the drivetrain. One mounts, front like, one time. Yeah, but that was, like, holding it yeah, with the, yeah. the steering on lock, which I learned very quickly. Puts a lot of extra stress with the hydraulic so it's $40, fluid. $40,000 for a transmission. For, it's actually not that bad. It's not. I thought it would no, be like, like 60, 70. You're talking about like a, the car obviously is like a million dollar car, quote unquote. Even MSRP on that car. Oh, they've come down. Six, yeah. Oh, have they? That, that, car, yeah. that car now, you could buy an SVJ with probably the mileage that's on my car for probably like, I'd say high sixes, low sevens. Canadian or US? US. Okay. It's still okay. up there. It's still probably close to a million Wait bucks to Canadian, but Wait to the next everything's a million dollars Canadian. Like. Yeah. Mike's hat's a million dollars Canadian. That's right. Anybody want to buy it? Limited edition, especially yep. if the champ signs it. Yeah. We'll put it on eBay. It's got my head sweat and everything, so <laughs> yeah. let me know if you guys are interested. I'll put it on eBay. We'll make Hope you guys are excited. We're back to faux daily. This place was a lot of fun. If you don't remember, you're about to be reminded of the insanely uh, eclectic uh, in interior design in this place. <laughs> <laughs> you would think you're actually not getting pho. You would think you're actually getting like Caribbean food. There's like parrots on the walls and stuff. But I will be the first to say we're back because the food is amazing. The service is subpar, so it feels right, like really authentic. Nice. You ready for this? Oh, it smells good out here, right? Does smell Doesn't good. that smell freaking good? Shock right Dude, this place? All right, boys, let's go. You ready for this? Check out the decor in here. Yes. 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 Right? Look at this. We got the. Don't you feel like we're getting some Caribbean food right now? And hold on, wait for it. We got the parrots on the ceiling. Yes. Get some more birds over here. How amazing is this? How many? Dude, how, the geckos too. How amazing is this place? Dude, I love the vibes here. Like, that's pretty sick. Right? But yeah, it doesn't feel like you're eating pho. It feels more Caribbean, yeah. right? Yeah, it does. I'm gonna get the jerk chicken fuck. <laughs> I wonder if they have that. 